Water is the lifeblood of our communities. We live in a world of abundant water, yet 97% of the world's water is seawater. Of the remaining fresh water, two-thirds is locked in glaciers, ice, or snow, leaving only 1% of the world's water available for direct human consumption. Around the world, the demand for safe drinking water is greater than ever before due to growing populations, social changes, changing climates, and the separation between where the people and water are located. Global communities are also contending with aging or no infrastructure to treat or transport water, financial constraints, and emerging water-related health and regulatory issues. For more than 150 years, MWH has been helping communities overcome water challenges. We're also committed to helping the current and future generation of water engineers provide plentiful and safe water for everyone. So we decided to write the book on water treatment. In 1984, MWH wrote and released a landmark book, Water Treatment Principles and Design, to share our company's knowledge, proven solutions, and projects with our clients, colleagues, and future engineers. 20 years later, we published a second edition in response to changes in regulatory requirements and growing public awareness, particularly in the areas of disinfection byproducts, pathogen inactivation, membrane filtration, and other emerging technologies. Our third edition, released in April 2012, comes only seven years later, reflecting the rapid and continuing development of new treatment technologies, applications, and research to tackle growing water scarcity challenges. Plus, we're driven by our mission of building a better world and our creative thirst to find better, more cost-effective ways to provide safe water. The city of Lima, Ohio had three specific issues they wanted to address. The first was a seasonal taste and odor issue in their drinking water supply. The second was an assurance to, that they would continue to meet the new disinfection byproduct uh, uh, regulations. And then third, to improve their disinfection efficiency in their existing Clearwell system. MWH conducted desktop and bench scale testing to determine the best combination of treatment alternatives to investigate and to eventually select the granular activated carbon process as the best approach for Lima to be able to meet their three goals. One of the, the major benefits of the work uh, that's been being completed now in Lima, Ohio is we're able to maintain the full capacity of the treatment plant because of the addition of the new low head uh, pump station that was installed to operate the granular activated carbon uh, absorption units. So we were able both to in, in maintain the capacity of the plant but also to solve the taste and odor problem uh, with the GAC removing those tastes and odor compounds and also because of the new uh, 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 head that was available from the low head GAC pumping station make the clear wells perform their function of providing the disinfection efficiency that was originally intended for the plant. The North Clackamas County Water Commission, made up of two authorities, was faced with two issues, rising water demands and an intermittent operation of their slow sand filtration plant because of the water quality and, and high turbidities that would occasionally occur in the Clackamas River. MWH's fast-track approach was able to deliver the project from notice to proceed until startup in 17 months. That's almost one year prior to the original planned completion of the project. Membrane technology was the perfect complement to the existing slow sand filtration plant. Like the slow sand plant, the membrane plant can operate unattended, so it allowed uh, the commission to optimize their staffing levels. In addition, the membrane plant could treat the high turbidity and poor water quality uh, that occurred in the Clackamas River and thereby provide water and secure that reliability that the commission needed. The two operate in tandem and therefore can both meet the, the goal of rising uh, water demand for the commission's uh, uh, customers as well as meet the water quality requirements year-round on the Clackamas River. Today, MWH engineers are already writing the next chapter of this book. We are building a better world by addressing and solving water challenges around the globe. We aspire to leave a positive, lasting impact on people and our planet. Our organization and our people are aligned with the critical needs of our communities and environment and the challenge of providing safe drinking water for everyone.
As our esteemed Chairman Emeritus Merle Kalani said, we challenge those who read this book, work in the industry, or aspire to provide access to clean water to consider their role in changing our world, one glass of water at a time.